you are not familiar with the ring bracelet. I almost forgot about them until one day I saw Michelle Fan wearing it beautifully on her hand. This type of jewelries are very common in Asia. I think it would be fun and lovely to recreate it. Let's get familiar with the tools and material needed for this project. Normally, the jewelry plier comes in sets of four. The side cutter plier, flat nose plier, and those are two types of round nose plier. I'm gonna decorate my ring bracelet with crystal. You can add anything you desire. Few head pins for the crystal, two lobster claws, some jump rings. I use one of my old necklaces, but you could purchase a chain. Most necklaces came with claps and jump rings. By using the O, we can save our material. You want to open the ring by pulling one plier towards you and one pliers away from you. Remove everything on the chain. Take the lobster claps and wrap it on your hand to measure your bracelet length. Once you find your desirable length, take the jump ring and loop the ring to the position. Secure the jump rings tightly. I like to cut the chains one inch away from the jump ring claps. This leaves room for me to adjust the size of my bracelet. Take the leftover chain, hold it at the center point of the chain. Position the chain on your hand to find your disciple name. Take a jump ring and loop the ring to the center of the chain. Before closing the ring, take a lobster clasp and loop the clasp to the jump ring. You can add any charms to the ring chain. There are so many different kinds of charms, the possibility are endless. Just make sure the length has to be the same. Put on the bracelet. The lobster clasp should be at the bottom center of your wrist. Add your ring chains to your ring. Make a mental note of where you want your chains to connect. I usually add the first chain at one inch inward from the jump ring clasp. Use a jump ring to connect the chains. Carefully loop one of the ring chains to the jump ring. Close enough for me. Second chain will be placed at one inch from the lobster clasp. You just made the backbone of a ring bracelet. I'm going to show you a basic wire jewelry technique. I mentioned this technique in my other videos. This is for those of you who don't know the technique. Use your round nose plier to bend the pin into a right angle at the B. Position the plier vertical of the B. Wrap the wire over the plier. Insert the lower part of the plier to the hole and complete the 360 degree wrap. Use your side cutter, cut where it formed the perfect circle. Set the bracelet on the table to have a better view of your project. I love crystals, so I'm going to add it all over my ring bracelet. However you want your creativity to shine, it's up to you. Don't be afraid to be different. Do you know that most celebrities search the whole world to find a unique style for them to stood out from the crowd? With the look on your face. Where's it with confidence and your radiance will glow? The great thing about this bracelet is interchangeable. Shall I be the one? Can change the ring. Or the bracelets Softly, but and back again. There are many styles to be formed with this piece of jewelry to fit your everyday look. The possibility are endless.
May you be happy.